So I'm going to show you guys how to take this thing apart, service it, um, change all the seals, and I mean all the seals. I got this little tool here, and I'll show you how this thing goes. Um, so some of the things you're going to need, WD-40, some oils, Q-tips, your uh, fan stall tool to take your handle off, 5 16 wrench, you know, Q-tips, a uh, couple Allen keys, it's easy, it's really not that hard. The hardest part is the line in the metal gear back up because you can lock these things up, but I'll show you how to do it. It's not that hard. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, you know, is uh, unscrew your drag knob here. Just simply unscrews. Just be careful because this is aluminum and this is stainless. Stainless is more, uh, it's a lot harder than aluminum and it will strip the shit out of it and you'll be buying it yourself a new handle. So keep that in mind. Next, you're gonna get your wrench. That goes on here, counterclockwise. It's actually in really good shape. I think I serviced it mid-season. I fished the crap out of it, you know, in the in the surf. I dunk it all the time. I don't skish with it, but I do dunk it and I don't see any signs of salt water inside of it. So that's a that's a good sign. It's all packed out with grease. There's no signs of salt water at all. This thing's in good shape. Excellent. Alright, so now you got your uh, cover off, your gear off and everything, you're gonna take your flyer off, which is this. So uh, there's four. Now, in here, let's say, in here, right there, you can't see it because it's loaded up with grease. That's where your little bolt is for your Travis guard. You're gonna get all this crap out of the way. Yummy. Uh, but you see the bolt now? Right there. That's what you're looking to take off. This whole sleeve pop right out. Perfect. Don't forget there's a little crush, there's a little stall washer in there too. So I don't know if you guys can just check that out. Right there, see it move it. So you wash it, you can not. You could just go ahead and change the quad seal here. That's what you get in like the service kit. There's a seal right in here. You use this tool, you push it in, yada, yada, yada. But the real way to, to there's a seal inside, there's two seals in here and a main bearing. Um, the only way to get that out is you're gonna have to take this, take this whole main gear set out. They had to do it. So you're gonna need this kind of tool here. You can make something, but this is cheap that, you know, I bought on, um, on Amazon. It's like a watch repair, um, like a little watch repair wrench. Got these two little tabs. I don't know if you guys could see that. Those two little tabs. And if you look here, those two little tabs fit. They fit right in those two tabs and it just whoop, unscrews. That's it. And there we go. This whole retaining ring, ring comes out. And that liberates your main gear set from. from the reel. There we go. That's it. This is your whole drive assembly. Now you can see there's a outside o-ring here that rarely gets to, you know, gets damaged. But here's your main bearing. This will, this will come off once you take the, uh, once you take this gear off. But you need that special tool like I was mentioned before. And this is the main meat and potatoes of this video is what I want to show you guys. 
there's a gear, there's a seal right in here. That's the seal that Van Store provides you. That's your um, your quad seal. In their service kit, that's the you know that's the only thing you service. You service that. You service your uh, side seal right here, and your uh, main side cover plate right there. That O-ring. There's a there's a seal in right behind this um, pinion gear that cannot be serviced unless you do what I'm showing you how to do here now. So I will show you once I get this tool unwrapped. Just pay close attention. You can make these tools yourself. Um, I just happen to buy this one. All right, so <clears throat> this is that tool, and this is how it fits on that your whole pinion guide. This locks your, this locks the whole assembly in place so it doesn't spin, so you're able to take that pinion gear off. Um, it's a reverse thread, so I might need a bigger set of pliers here. So it's just gonna go clockwise. There we go, that's it. I don't, don't know if you guys heard it, it just one quick little click. Let me show you exactly how this works. Boom. Whole pinion is off. Bearing is out. You can see I got a little, uh, little rustification right there, so it was leaking. A little bit of salt water. And here is that seal I was telling you about. That internal seal. See how it's all funked up in there? That's where the salt water will get into. This main seal right here. And that's what we're gonna change. So we'll clean all this up and I'll get right back to you. So here's that seal we're gonna change. There it is, right there. And here's this, I guess you would call it bushing. I took the O-ring out, just uh, wipe it down, make sure there's no salt or any crap on it. Looks pretty cream, clean, we're gonna reuse it. It rarely goes bad because it just sits in one spot. So we're gonna take a little, uh, little dealer, base some royal purple here, a little blob on there. Pop it on, put your O-ring back on. Then same with your uh, seal. Use a little royal purple, just a drop, nice and juiced up. All right, so the way this goes on, see there's like a fat side, then a skinnier side. So the fat side is gonna go towards the pinion. So this piece, the bottom piece of your seal, I don't know if you guys could see, I can't really see. This is gonna go in like this. Okay. Just like that. I'm just gonna push right in. So you can see how there's like um, the little lip? This is gonna be towards the inside of the reel. So this fat piece goes towards the front like this. And that's how it's gonna sit.
All right, so actually before we put all this together, I forgot to, uh, there's another seal in here. That's gonna be your um, <clears throat> quad seal. That's gonna be a ORQ2. And that is the seal that we're gonna change. Typically when you, you're not taking the whole thing apart, that your advanced oil service kit is gonna come with this like uh, aluminum dowel rod. That's gonna shoot down the hole here. And it's gonna go right to the bottom of where that seal sits. I don't know if you guys can see in there. It's gonna be right at the bottom. You're gonna get your pick, pick it out. But this is easy because it's all taken apart already, so you're just gonna get your pick. The old seal. New seal is going to go in. Um, this is the tool that they give you. It's going to kind of, you're going to kind of work it in there. Just put a little oil on it. Just going to clean out all the crud that's in there. in there pretty good all right so we're gonna put this thing back together so you're gonna clean your clean your body make sure all the old grease is out make sure everything looks pretty good here's your pinion shaft it's gonna go like this there's a fat piece that's gonna go forward and that's the inside of the oil seal that's gonna go on excuse me it's gonna go on like that you get your bearing all cleaned up, nice and clean, no rust. Make sure everything's nice and oiled up. That's going to go on. And then you got your pinion gear. Reverse thread, so you're going to hold it. And screw it on. Alright, that's it. You don't have to wrench it tight because as you turn the reel, it spins counterclockwise. Or, yeah, counterclockwise, and it actually tightens as it goes. So, all right, so you got your quad seal inside there, all changed up. We reused this outside o ring, changed the inside o ring, cleaned everything up, and we we're going to start putting your reel back together. All right, so this is going to simply drop inside here, just like that. Spin it, yeah, beautiful. Nice and tight. All right, move on to the next part. <clears throat> so what I did off camera was just cleaned, clean the inside here, sprayed it all with WD-40, cleaned it all out, got all the old grease and gunk and crap out of there. This is your side cover. That's your. Uh, oil seal it's going to be the um, uh, OSPR2 so what you're going to do is grab your pick and just carefully try not to scratch the freaking side of the thing here Pick it out. It comes out. Toss that off this side. Just get a little paper towel. You dirty old Q-tip. 
grab your old seal or a new seal rather it's your OSPR2 again just put a little dot of uh, royal purple on that bad boy it's gonna go on just press it on it fits in there nicely and that's it side cover is pretty much good to go just gonna load this up with a little uh, Roller bar bearings, and there's a one way needle bearing in there. I'm just gonna blob some royal purpel inside of there. Last for that piece is gonna use your uh, <clears throat> O ring. This is the old O ring. Just a little, just comes off. Just make sure it's not rolled on. And these um, cover plates are real um, sharp. So just be careful when you put it on that it doesn't cut into the o-ring so just lube it up a little, a little oil See, it's seated right in its little groove, and that's pretty much that for this. All right, so we'll move on to the next piece. All right, so now you got your pinion shaft back in here, everything's smooth, pretty good. You're gonna put your locking ring on, all right? Just this little uh notches, just make sure they're facing up because that's what you're gonna use it to uh get your tool around it to spin. So just spin it on by hand, okay. See those two little notches there? They're gonna go in here and just snug. You don't have to wrench this freaking thing down, just snug. That's it. Okay, that's it. Alright, from there, you're gonna put your shaft back in. Hold it down in and just spin it as you go, just so nothing binds up such that feels good all right from here you're gonna put your take your traverse guide it's gonna go in like this and you're gonna kind of spin the shaft around a little bit and you'll feel it line up and there's like a little notch it'll sit inside of that notch And you'll feel it when it's when it sits correct. Anyway, so now that the nuts on, should be five sixteenths. Open end. Hold your guide down with your two fingers here so it doesn't rock around and move. And you're just gonna snug it up. You're not gonna super wrench this thing on, just that's it. Boom, well, done. Make sure everything slides up and down nice, which it does. And what I'm gonna do for this service is um, kind of what they used to do with the old band stalls, like the, the earlier ones made. They, they fill these things up with gear loop instead of just using grease. So I'm gonna try 
Let me try doing that. Doing it with royal purple. It's a sealed reel. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. That little roll of bellet bearing and this traverse guide have to meet perfectly. If it doesn't, you could lock these reels up and then it's just gonna be a nightmare. So what you're supposed to do, put this thing, the, the guide, directly in the middle, roll a bearing directly on the top, and you're gonna put it down first and kind of plop it in like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And you'll feel it go in. Okay. Now before you tighten this thing, What's recommended is to put the flyer on and see if this thing will go in reverse one turn. If it does, you're good to go to assemble your reel, reassemble the reel. We should be good. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the rest of the screws on and then tighten up the cover. We'll have a grease around this to keep the, any water that would come out. Put your handle back on. Again, be careful. This is aluminum, that's stainless. Next thing is your drag. I'm not gonna take it apart because it doesn't need to be serviced, it's pretty good. But just clean, um, clean out your top, your cap here. Put the top cap back on. Drag cap. That's it, man. This thing's pretty good. So that's it. Your reel is now serviced and ready to fish for the 2022 season. That's it. If you guys got any questions, drop a comment. If not, I hope you guys have a safe and happy 2022. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Later.